This video is a short simulated counseling session demonstrating an amalgamation of some of the basic communication skills, including attending, paraphrasing, summarizing, empathic responses, asking questions, and probing for concreteness. So Ari, tell me a little bit about what brought you in for counseling today. I, I guess I'm just feeling confused lately and, and I thought it might help to talk to someone about it. Okay, you've been having some complicated feelings and you want to work through some of them? Yeah, I, I guess I should give you some background. Um, I'm in my first year of university now. Um, I grew up in a small town in Northern Ontario, and it's my first time being away from home. Um, I really like Vancouver. It's, it's very different from where I grew up. And I guess I'm just a little confused by all the differences between where I grew up and where I am now. So it's your first time away from home and first time starting university and you're noticing a lot of differences between what it's like here and back at home? Yeah. Could you tell me a bit more about some of these differences that you're seeing or experiencing? Yeah, I, I guess I can. Um, my parents, well, where I grew up, uh, re religion is a very big part of our lives. And my parents are very strong Christians, and they very much live by the word of the Bible. And I believe in God, I do, but I'm just not sure that everything that they taught me about what's right or wrong in the world is correct. Hmm. And perhaps you're starting to question some of those things that you were brought up to think. Yeah, I guess I am. Could you give me an example of something that you're starting to question? Yeah, I guess I can. Um, my parents believe that the only real love is, should be between a man and a woman. And I'm just not sure that's right. Well, what do you think a real love could look like? Well... I've met some people here in Vancouver, in university, that identify as gay. And I don't necessarily view them as evil. Like, when I see them together, I just, I just see people who love and really care about each other. So you're noticing that you're opening up to the idea that somebody's sexual orientation doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad or good. Yeah. I mean, I've met this guy named Matt, and he's very funny, very kind, very smart, and he cares about what's happening in the world and other people. Matt sounds like a great guy. He really is. The truth is, I think I like him, like really like him. Do you mean that you're finding yourself feeling attracted to Matt? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, yes, but I, I can't believe that I'm feeling this way. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about it because I've always been taught that this is wrong. It sounds like you're really confused by your feelings. Yeah. And what it might mean if you were attracted to him. Yeah, I, I know I'm attracted to him. And I felt this way before in high school, but I've convinced myself that it was nothing. But with Matt, I get so excited to see him. And when I'm with him, I get 
I just feel nervous and jittery. And the more time I spend with him, the more I want to be with him. It's crazy. So actually, you're pretty certain about your feelings of attraction because you felt like this before. Yeah. And it sounds like there's some real chemistry between you and Matt. It sounds like you feel pretty excited and maybe even exhilarating to be around him. It is. But I feel sick when I think about my parents and if they ever found out that I felt this way. So on the one hand, you're feeling really excited by these feelings that you're having. And on the other hand, you're worried about how your parents might react if they found out that you were gay. They would be disgusted. They believe being gay is wrong and sinful. They would be so angry with me. Your parents' religion impacts how they might perceive your feelings for Matt? It affects the way they view me. I mean, I know they love me, but I'm not sure if they could accept me if I was gay. Are you worried that they might not be able to acknowledge you for who you really are? Yeah. Okay, Ari. So it sounds like you've met this great person named Matt and you're feeling really excited about him and you're pretty certain that you're feeling attracted to him. And while that's exciting, it's also quite scary for you because you're worried about if your parents found out that you were gay and what it might mean for your relationship between you and your parents. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the gist of it. Okay. So what part of that do you think that you and I could work on or focus on through the remainder of our time today? I guess my biggest worry is whether or not to tell my family because they're coming to visit me in a couple of weeks.